Hello, my name is Oscar Asuncion with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video describes the new Communication Server 1000 Release 7.6 Trap Data Block Enhancement. Prior to the Communication Server 1000 Release 7.6, whenever a call server restarts, the trap data block is saved in the slash /e slash /trace directory. However, only the latest restart is saved. Now, in CS1000 release 7.6, the call server will save the previous three restarts, allowing Avaya support the ability to better understand the root causes of any restart. The files will still be stored in the slash /e slash /trace directory with names of tdb001, tdb002, and tdb003. If a fourth restart occurs, the call server will cycle back and use the file tdb001. The fifth restart will use tdb002, and so on. To view the contents of the files, log into the call server with admin permissions and enter the problem determination tool shell, also known as the PDT shell, by pressing and holding the control key while entering PDT. At the PDT prompt, enter TDB space F1 to view the TDB001 file. Similarly, you can enter TDB space F2 to view the TDB002 file. and enter tdb space f3 to view the tdb003 file. Alternatively, you can enter tdb space fa to view all three files. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.